The speech from the throne is a ceremonial address given in the Senate to mark the opening of a new parliament. It is delivered by the Governor General since Parliament only meets at the royal summons of the Queen or her representative. The speech from the throne outlines the government's priorities for the life of the Parliament and brings together its three branches, the House, the Senate and the Crown. So how does it happen? To start, guests gather in the Senate chamber, including Senators and Supreme Court Justices. Then, the Governor General and the Prime Minister arrive, escorted into the chamber by the Usher of the Black Rod, who is the personal messenger of the Queen or the Governor General. The Governor General then instructs the Usher of the Black Rod to head to the House of Commons and inform members of Parliament their presence is required in the Senate chamber. The Usher of the Black Rod goes to the House of Commons to collect the MPs and lead them back to the Senate. The speech from the throne is delivered in the Senate because neither the Sovereign nor Senators are allowed in the House of Commons in order to preserve the independence of its elected members. MPs arrive but aren't permitted on the floor of the Senate chamber. They must listen to the speech from the bar at the entrance to the Senate. The Speaker of the House asks the Crown to affirm the rights and privileges of the MPs. The Senate Speaker, on behalf of the Governor General, recognizes the rights and privileges of the MPs. The Governor General then reads the speech in the Senate chamber as prepared by the Prime Minister and the Cabinet. The speech starts with an overview of the state of the country and then outlines the government's agenda. When the speech is over, a copy is presented to both speakers. MPs then return to the House of Commons. Following the speech from the throne, both the House and the Senate hold first readings of pro forma bills. Two MPs will then move and second an address in reply to the speech thanking the Governor General. The House debates the speech for up to six days and then a new session of Parliament begins.